sorting models in Laravel Nova is actually pretty straightforward to do. I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in this video. Okay, so we're starting here with a completely blank Laravel Nova installation. Of course, I've already set Laravel up and I've actually gone ahead and set some models up as well. So let's just take a look at them really quickly. We're going to start off with a course here, which has many episodes. Now we're not going to have the ability to sort the course. We want to sort the episodes within this course. There are lots of different ways that you can sort, but a one to many relationship is probably going to be the most common. And of course we have that episode model just over here as well. Let's take a look at the database really quickly just to see what we have on here. So of course just has a title. And of course, if we head over to the episodes here, uh, this just belongs to a course and also has a title. So we're keeping the data here really, really straightforward. So the first thing that we're going to do is just set up these models in Laravel Nova. I haven't done that just yet. We're going to start completely from scratch just so this is a little bit clearer. So let's go ahead and create a Nova resource for our course. And let's also do that for our episode as well. So if we head over to course under app and Nova, let's go down here and just fill in some information about this. So the title here is obviously going to be the title of the course. We might want to be able to search on the title as well. And down here, we're going to add a couple of fields. So we're going to add a text field in here. So let's just grab that from Nova really quickly. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and make this out. And of course, that's going to be the title. And we also want a has many relationship as, uh, here as well. So let's go ahead and grab that and make that for the episodes. Over on the episode itself, this is going to be pretty similar. So let's go down here and just fill in the title and we'll also allow to search on the title as well. And if we come down here, let's go ahead and once again, add in some text and let's go ahead and make that out with the title of the episode. And we may as well add a belongs to on here as well, just so we have this nice and clear. So that belongs to a course. We don't actually have the relationship set up for that. So let's go ahead and do that now really quickly. And we want to, of course, head to episode and just say that this belongs to a course, just so we can head back to that course once we're finishing, uh, finished up creating an episode for it. So this belongs to, and it belongs to a course. So with that done, we're pretty much good to go in terms of Nova. So let's give this a refresh. We can go ahead and create a course here. So I'm going to go ahead and create course one, and I'm going to name these specifically with numbers just so we have a better idea uh, of what we're doing. And let's create another course in here as well, just called course two. And let's go over to course one and let's add some episodes for this. So of course, we're going to follow the naming convention here, episode one, two, three, and let's just do one more. Okay, so let's stick to course one for now, which has four episodes now. And what we're actually going to do just to demonstrate the sortable nature of this, because we're going to be using this package here to do that. Let's just dump these out on the dashboard really quickly. So we'll head over to dashboard.view. Uh, in fact, let's go to our web routes first and let's go ahead and pass down all the courses that we have. And let's also eager load in the episodes. So let's just grab all courses and pass these down. And then of course, over on the dashboard, we can just iterate through these. So let's go through courses as course and go ahead and end that out there. And for each of these, let's just create an H2 with a class of font semi bold. And let's just say course title. And then of course we want to iterate through all of the episodes. So episodes as episode and let's go ahead and just dump these out here in a div. So episode and title. Great. So if we head over now and give this a refresh, what we should see is, yeah, let's just actually fix that up. Course episodes. There we go. So we've got episode one, two, three, and four. Now, of course, they're in the correct order at the moment, but we want to make these sortable. So let's dive straight into this first package, Eloquent Sortable. We're going to install this, get it set up, and then we'll head over to Nova and look at this Nova Sortable package. So this basically allows you, this package allows you to go ahead and provide an order column and then have your models ordered by that column. Very, very simple, but this does all the hard work for you. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this package in. Let's head back over to the docs. Uh, we can publish the config file if we want to, but let's just go ahead and ignore that. And we need to go ahead and uh, first of all, implement this sortable 
interface and then we need to use this sortable trait so let's head over to our episode model because that's what we want to be sortable and let's go ahead and implement sortable uh, we might just need to re-index our workspace there we go and we're going to go ahead and use that trait let's just find the name sortable trait there we go great so we've got that in there now now we need to figure out which column we're going to use now we don't have one at the moment so we're going to have to go back and add that in so let's go ahead and create our migration here and we'll just say add order to episodes table and let's open that up and let's go down here and just add in an integer here we're not going to make this unsigned because we may go into negative numbers we might not do but we'll keep it as just a standard integer and really importantly this needs to be nullable the reason it needs to be nullable is that when we initially create an episode on a course this is going to be a null value until this package can work out which value it needs to sign to order so it will retrospectively go back and update this order based on the items you already have okay let's go down and finally just add in the drop here so let's drop the order column and we're pretty much done so let's go ahead and just migrate this and now we can configure our model so we're going to head over to the episode model and we're going to go ahead and add in first of all a fillable column for order we may not need to do that but let's go ahead and add that in there anyway just in case we need to touch it ourselves and then we're going to go ahead and create out a sortable property in here and we're going to go ahead and give the order column name so ours is called order then we're going to go ahead and say sort when creating and set this to true so this is kind of like the config on a per model basis although you can set that globally and we're also going to say sort on has many and set that to true now we're initially just going to comment this out and when we pull in the nova package we're going to see how this value makes the nova package work in terms of our has many relationship so our model is now sortable technically if we head over to the dashboard nothing has changed here let's now go ahead and look at how we can get the drag and drop functionality of these so we can sort them so if we go ahead and install this package here and pull this in there's not really too much we need to do here we're going to head over to the episode nova resource and we're just going to use a trait on here so this is has sortable rows once again just index that workspace has sortable rows and that is all we need to do now if we just come over to nova and give this a refresh nothing has really changed here yet what we're going to need to do is over on our episode model pull back in this config option that we just wrote out so once we've done that if we give the page a refresh here you can see that we've got these icons telling us what we need to do well move to end move to start it doesn't really matter but we can go ahead and order these now and notice that we have the correct order in here already this package under the hood is using the sortable package that we just pulled in to show the sorting order but also allow us to sort this as well so once again over on the dashboard everything looks good let's move episode 4 to the second position and you can see that we get a resource successfully reordered we give this a refresh sure enough it is still in that place and when we give this a refresh you can see that that has now changed around so probably in 90 percent of cases this is how you're going to be reordering things using a, a, a has many relationship but the two packages we've pulled in have lots of different configuration options and more features that you can check out if you need some more advanced usage but pretty much what we've done here is what we're going to see a lot of the time so hopefully this has helped showing you how you can reorder your models in Nova.